New here at 5 o'clock, Jefferson County Public Schools has been asking all of its schools to review their mascots by November. Each of the 150 schools need to have a mascot that is culturally appropriate and sensitive to all students. As Jesse Cohen shows us, they have already started the process at one Louisville school. Atherton High School here in the Highlands will be the first JCPS school to change their mascot as part of their racial equity plan. Things change. Meanings of words change. And when they do, their effects on people change. Being a kid is hard enough. We don't want to make it harder for them. And if it makes any of them uncomfortable, then, then there's no reason to keep it the same. Shannon Favre went to high school at Atherton and wore her label as a rebel loud and proud. We were rebels because um, we're activists. One of my sisters and I were both rebels and we're both civil rights attorneys. That's the kind of rebel I've always associated with. But it wasn't until recently she learned there were other meanings and associations to the term. And I did not know that in the 70s, the mascot was actually the rebel mascot with the rebel flag from the South. So as a parent of a student and a member of the site based decision making group, when she found out her alma mater would be changing their mascot, she wasn't surprised. It's all part of a larger effort to promote racial equality within the district. School's supposed to be where you feel safe and with everything else going on in the world, that's the one place you don't want them to have to worry about anything that makes them uncomfortable. And if changing the mascot to anything else makes them feel more comfortable with school, and that's what we want to do. Of 150 schools within JCPS, they are the first to make this change, but Shannon says they have always paved the way. Well, Atherton was the first high school that I know of in the state of Kentucky that had a trans inclusive bathroom policy. I mean, Atherton's always been an activist school. Shannon says she doesn't know what the next mascot will be for the kids here at Atherton, but she says they are all about activism, so she's hoping it will embody just that. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Jesse Cohen.